Hello designers, so by the end of this video, I will demonstrate how to create a professional PDF sewing template in Adobe Illustrator for US letter paper size. This template can be used for your digital sewing patterns on your home printer. The steps include creating the artboards, labeling the pages, and saving it as a sewing template that you can use for your e-patterns such as those created in Cloud3D. Okay, then go guys in today's video. So we will create a PDF template in Adobe Illustrator for your A pattern. To do so, first I will go to File and then select New. So by default, we have many templates here appear. However, though I will go to Print and then select View All Preset. This you will see more preset templates. After that, by default, I have letter selected, which is perfect. And then change the name here to US letter paper size and then I will change this to inches after that I'm going to type in here 7.5 then press on the tab key twice and I'm going to type in here 10 next I will press on the tab key so under orientation is portrait and number of artboards I'm going to type in 40 then be sure bleed is zero and after that I will click on more setting. So by default we have US letter paper size perfect and number of artboard 40 and be sure this grid by row orientation is checked and we want to change the spacing to zero. Then press on the tab key to confirm. Column, I'm going to change that to four. And right here we have width 7.5 perfect height 10 and bleed is zero. That's what we want. Color mode YMCK and high 300 ppi for raster effects and preview mode is default. That is perfect. I'm going to select create document. Next, I'm going to come over here to the zoom tool, click on it to select and we want to zoom in to this top page right here. Then I'm going to come over here to this layer panel and then change this layer name to borders after that press on return into on the keyboard to confirm next i will select this rectangle tool click on it to select then click one right here i'm going to type in 7.5 in then press on the tab key and i'm going to type in 10 in then press on return into on the keyboard to confirm next we want to change this stroke to two points simply come over here and select this stroke and change that to two points Next, I will grab the selection tool, click on it, and then click on this object and bring it over to this first artboard and click one on the plate to these legs. Simply click one right there again on the object and go to this align horizontal and align vertical center. After that, I'm going to click one on the plate to these legs. Now click on the objects again, command or control plus letter X to cut. And I'm going to come over here to this edit and we want to select paste in place. Next, I'm going to change the fill here to somewhat green is so easy for us to see. Next, I'm going to click one on the plate to these legs, then click one on the objects once again to select. And I'm going to press on command or control plus letter X to cut, then go to edit, this time we will select paste on all artboards. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out here. Next, we want to command or control plus letter A to select all the objects. Then go to fill. I'm going to change that to none. And by default, we have black stroke, two points. That is perfect. I will change opacity to 70 here. Simply tap in 70 and press on return into on the keyboard to confirm. Next, I will come over here to this layer and then lock that layer. After that, I'm going to create another layer, simply pressing on option on all and then click on that create new layer icon. And this time I will type in circle and press return into on the keyboard to confirm. And let's zoom in and pan it up here. Use the zoom tool guide and click on that corner to zoom in. After that, I will come over here and select this ellipse tool, click on it to select. And I'm going to click one right here and I'm going to type in 0.5 in and then press on the tab key, 0.5 in, and then press on return enter on the keyboard here to confirm. Next, I will grab the selection tool, click on it to select, and click on that and bring it over here to this corner. So first, I will change the fill to somewhat greener so it's easy for us to see, and I will change the stroke here to none. After that, let me adjust this circle 
to get it to the right on the corner right there. Next, we want to make copy of the circle and place them all on to all the corner in these artboards. Let me zoom out a little bit here and then pan it over. To do that, I'm going to click one on the pick to deselect. Then my key selects that circle. Command or Control plus letter X to cut. Then go to Edit and we want to select Paste in Place. After that, Click one on the page to deselect. Then my key selects the objects again. And command or control plus letter X to cut. And this time we will go to edit and paste on all our boards. So if I zoom out, we're going to create more circles to place them on all this artboard here. Simply my key selects these circle right here. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit further here and pan it up. After that, I'm going to Press on option or all, click and then drag. And uh, until I see this guideline appear right there, I'm going to relief to place this circle. And we want to also create more copy of that circles. And uh, next I'm going to click one on the page to deselect. Then my key select the circle right here. Then now I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to press on option all, click one, then drag. Until I see this guideline pop up, I'm going to release them out here. After that, I'm going to command or control plus letter A to select all the circle and go to fill. I'm going to change that to 80% gray here and change the opacity to 70 and then press on return enter on the keyboard. Next, I will come over here and lock that layer as well. And after that, we want to create another layer. Simply press on option all and then click on that create new layer and I'm going to name these layer numbers and press return enter on the keyboard. After that, I'm going to use the zoom tool once again, click on it and then zoom in on this top page here, guys. And this time I will use the type tool, click on it to select then click one on a page and I'm going to change the font to 120 then press on return enter on the keyboard to confirm and I'm going to type in number one here after that I will grab this selection tool to get out that type tool and we want to align this number to center and this time I will drag it up over here roughly one third of the page down next we want to make copy and place this number onto all of the artboards. Simply command or control plus letter X here and then go to edit and then select paste in place first and click one on the page to deselect. My key selects that number once again, command or control plus letter X to cut. Then go to edit and this time we want to paste on all artboards. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out here. Now we are going to change this number to my the artboard. Simply use the type tool, click on it to select and I'm going to change this to 2, 3, 4 and I'm going to speed up the process here so we'll save us some time. Okay, we are almost finished here. Now I'm going to switch my tool to selection tool and I'm going to command or control plus letter A to select all these number and I will change the opacity to 70. Then press on return enter on the keyboard to confirm. Next, we also want to lock that layer. Simply come over here and click on this icon here to lock. After that, we want to create another layer. Simply click on option or all and click on that create new layer icon. And this time I will change that to scaling square and press on return enter on the keyboard to confirm. Next, let's pan it up and zoom in once again use the zoom tool. It's super useful, guys. And I'm going to use the rectangle tool, simply click on it to select. And I'm going to click one on the page here. And I will type in one, I N, press on the tab key, one, I N, and press on return enter on the keyboard to confirm. Next, I will change the fill to none. And then I will change the stroke to black. And by default, we have one point stroke that is perfect. Next, I'm going to come over here to this type tool, click on it to select. Then I'm going to type in here one by one i n then i'm going to change the font size here simply go to this selection tool 
and then come over here to this font and I'm going to type in 14 press on return enter on the keyboard next I will grab that selection tool once again and my key selects both of these objects and click one on that square and go to align horizontal and vertical center next we want to create another square here simply go to the rectangle tool click on it click one on the page and this time I will type in 2.5 cm press on the tab key 2.5 cm and then press on return enter on the keyboard to confirm simply change the fill to none and then change the stroke to black then one point by default that is perfect next we want to select this type tool click on it and then click one right here and type in 2.5 by 2.5 cm then Come over here to the selection tool, click on it to get out that type tool and my key selects both of this object and click on that square there. And this time I will go to the once again horizontal and vertical align center. Next we will bring them up here just like that. After that we want to create a node here for the customer. Simply go to my node here. I'm going to copy my node because I already wrote it earlier and then I'm going to bring over here in Adobe Illustrator, select this type tool, click one right here and I'm going to use command or control plus letter V to paste and let make it a little bit look prettier. Okay, there you go. I'm going to move the text over here a little bit and by default I have 14 point text which is perfect. Okay, next we will come over here and lock that scaling layer as well. And after that, we want to create another layer here for the pattern. Simply come over here and then pressing on option at all and then click one on that create new layer. And I'm going to name these patterns and simply pressing on return enter on the keyboard to confirm. Then click on that layer and then drag it and drop under every other layer here, okay? Next, we are going to save this template for the future. To do so, I will go to File and then select Save As and then go to Save on your computer. Then, by default, we already named this file. So I'm going to select Desktop here and then create new folder. And I'm going to name it US letter paper size and I'm going to click on Create here. And format, be sure it is Adobe Illustrator, which is perfect and click on save by default i have adobe illustrator 2020 that is perfect font right here 100 percent and option create pdf compatible box is checked embed icc profile box is checked use compression and be sure this save each artboard to a separate file box is unchecked okay after that i will click on ok to confirm Okay, there you have it, it's Sandy Star. And here, check out my video on how to print real size pattern in close 3D using this template. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And remember to follow me on Encoded Fashion for more awesome videos like this. Thanks for watching, guys.